there's something about Our Lady of Peace Church that draws you, draws you in. And the minute you walk in, there right there is our Lord. Father Sweeney started this 40 years ago. He did this for the people so that they could come and, and visit anytime. I remember when we started, Sister Mary Jean was working with Monsignor Sweeney. She had 728 people signed up. God put all these people together that needed to be together to start it. Petro Adoration here is special because it's 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It, since being in a door, you know, I've been doing it a long time. It's kind of a, a progression. When I first started coming, I just thought, oh, it's our Lord. And I go, hi. And so later on, though, you know, you kind of get used to listening to God and listening to, uh, to Him speak to you in a way of growth. If they start making a holy hour every day and they think about where they're at at point A and then look back six months later, they'll see a transformation in both their thinking and their behavior. And both of them will be more in accord with the will of God. Going through Eucharistic adoration, confession, all of that was purifying my soul so that I could be disposed to, at the given time, actually hear what God's call was for me, which for me was to enter the seminary four years ago. Everyone who goes into the church, you can see that they are there to adore our Lord and have that, that reverence. And so it really helps when, when they're praying to always go back and to always remember that Jesus is there present. I spent time in adoration more than usual and I talked to Jesus like talking with a best friend and I would just pour out all my burdens and my worries and you know or just sit there in silence. It really gave me the, the joy and the, the love and the strength to, to endure those trials and look beyond those difficult moments. I put all my trust in God. I put, I put my, my worries and my doubts and my fears. Jesus and Mother Mary loves me so much and they will, they, they love me so much and I don't know, I know, I feel that in my heart. That's something amazing that when Our Lady holds us in her hands, she brings us to the Eucharist and she gives us this sense of peace. It's not a peace that the world can give, it's not a peace that's dependent on material things. It's like a foretaste, that eternal happiness. Sometimes I'm here three hours, five hours. Sometimes it could be midnight. I don't even know that the time has passed. And it's just a wonderful feeling. You just feel so comfortable. And the minute you walk out, you feel totally different. You feel inspired and you feel energized. Jesus lets you feel His heart, you know, and you can be more giving, more forgiving, more understanding, but that's, that's why. But you know what? I go to adoration because I want to learn more, 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 never stopping from Jesus' love. Forty years, um, it's, uh, it's almost a lifetime that people have been coming here day and night, keeping vigil, staying with the Lord, one hour, maybe more at a time. God chose this place to give His grace to the people and to be a sanctuary of peace within the city and something that's so important for San Jose and for the Silicon Valley um, to have this place of, of peace and of, of prayer and, and of grace. I really want to keep this legacy. This was life-changing for me. I hope it can be life-changing for others.